Hello friends, in today's gardening video that is part 5 of our Q&A series on gardening ideas and answers, we'll try to reveal 5 more interesting answers to gardening questions like, do plants die of old age? Are there any bone meal substitutes? How to water your plant when you are on a vacation? And 2 more interesting questions, all that's coming up. If you are interested in gardening, please click on the bell icon to receive notifications on my new uploads. So let's begin. The first question, how should I water my plants when I am away for say about 1 or 2 weeks? Well this depends on how long you are on a vacation and also the type of plant. Now let's solve this problem by considering two scenarios. The first one is, assume it's for one week. Here I suggest you can leave your succulents and cacti neglected. They will not be harmed if you do not water them for a week or so. For other plants that need regular watering, the best and simplest method I suggest is the inverted bottle method. Just make some holes into the bottle cock and insert the pointed end into the soil for at least 2 inches or more. You can even add liquid fertilizers into the water if you wish. Now the second scenario is assume it's more than a week, like 10 to 15 days or even more. Some recommend cotton string method like the one you are seeing in the diagram. But most of the times this fails, especially if the string is too long and if you have placed the water container in full sunlight because the water evaporates. The best method I suggest is the super absorbent polymer gel that is the sap powder which can hold water for up to 2 weeks depending on the zone you live in or uh, the season of the year. You can check out my detailed video and experiment on this topic from an end screen link or from the description link below this video. But first let's complete this video. The second question is, are there any bone meal substitutes, especially for vegetarian people who hesitate to offer bone meal to their plants? Well, bone meal is a byproduct of animal rendering made from finely crushed bones. Bone meal is a slow release organic fertilizer which is rich in phosphorus with a NPK ratio of about 4, 12 and 0. That is phosphorus content is 12. The closest alternative to bone meal is soya bean meal that has NPK ratio of 7 to 1 and hence you might you have to use it more than double the quantity while using the soybean meal. The third question is, is it compulsory to shift the seedlings or small plants from cocoa peat to a proper potting mix? Absolutely true. Cocoa peat is a good growing medium for starting seeds or even germinating seeds. It lacks micro and macronutrients and even adequate amounts of NPK elements required for plant growth. But if you add some compost to the mix, this will do the job. But now as the plant grows, the problem comes with plant anchoring or anchorage. The plant roots cannot stand in a loose medium like cocoa peat. You can try experimenting this using tomato plants which have very good root system. They tend to fall early. Hence a proper potting mix with right proportions is very important. You can check out one of my videos on the potting mix recipes from a card link at the top right corner of this video or even from the description link. Now the fourth question is, can a plant die of old age? Well, the oldest known tree in the world is the Great Basin Bristlecone Pine in the White Mountains of California. It's over 5000 years old. So now the question of plants dying from old age or aging is a bit controversial. One best explanation to this question is like this. When humans or animals grow older, their cell division is slowed down and also they die of some disease in old age. Whereas the plant growth pattern is entirely different. Actually trees grow indeterminately, meaning that with the right conditions they can grow and grow and grow. But the only problem that limits them from reaching up to the sky is the food and water transport through the xylem and phloem to the growing end of the roots. The taller the tree, the more difficult it is to transport water from the roots to the foliage near the top. But here what happens is, instead of growing taller, they increase in width and also branch out more. As you might have noticed some old trees with, with huge girth of their stems. Now the fifth question is, how do I know my plant is still alive and how to save a dying plant? There are many signs to know whether your plant can still survive. If your plant is looking dry and has shed all its leaves, most of us think it's dead but actually it may be alive or can be revived. Please watch my detailed episode on this topic demonstrating how to save a dying plant. I have linked that right here. Just click the link and please watch it completely. 
सो देर यू हैव इट फोक्स प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई वीडियोज हैप्पी गार्डनिंग